Grade 4 math number 113, line plots or tally marks. I don't know if you remember from third grade math, but we did line plots, and it's a graph that shows the frequency of data along a number line. It shows how often information shows up on a number line. A tally mark chart does the same thing. We use a 1 for each item we're counting. Okay, so let's do a line plot real quick. Tala kept track of how, many, how much snow fell for 10 days, and these were her measures, okay? So what we do is we put an X that coincides with each snowfall that she wrote down, okay? The line plot will show us the data more precisely. So here's the snowfall for 10 days, and we can mark an X on the number line to help us look at the data. So we have 2 inches, put an X, we have 1 inch and a 2 fourth inch, 1 inch and a 2 fourth inch, we have another 2 inch and a 1 fourth inch, okay, another 2 inch and a 1 fourth inch, then we have a 1 inch and a 2 fourth inch, 1 inch and 2 fourth, then we have a 1 fourth, 2 fourth, and 3 fourth. 1 fourth, 2 fourth, and 3 fourth. And now we can stand back and look at the line plot and say, look at that, 2 fourths inches was the most. We could even take this information and add up all the fractions to find out what the total in inches fell, you know, total snowfall was. Okay, so let's look at a tally mark chart. We put a mark for each item on the tally mark chart, then we can count the items and observe the data as a group. After four marks, we cross them with a line to represent a group of five. So if Emma kept track of how many games her soccer team won and lost for the season, she put a line for each win and a line for each loss, and when she got to four, she crossed it. That way she could count groups of five. See? You could say, we won, we won, we won, we won, and then we won. See? You cross it. That way you can just say 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 26 and count them very quickly. 5, 10, 11, 12. See how quickly we were able to count that? Plus you can visually see that there's more wins than losses. See? So whether you use a line plot or tally marks, it'll help you graph your information, your data, and you'll be able to see it much easier. See? Okay. We're going to talk about metric unit again, and I hope to see you there. Bye.